how can we create a well-designed, efficient, and functional irrigation system using the Rainbow Cyrus software's flow manager system? We will be discussing in this video how to add a pump station into the map, how to choose the pipe size of your pipes and adding branches into your map, different flow zones and capacities, as well as how to link the piping system to the sprinkler heads. By doing this properly, we will be able to ensure the efficient use of water across our irrigation system. First step is adding a pump house to your system. To start from scratch with your irrigation flow system creation, the first thing we will need to do is add a pump to our system. This, obvious, this is obviously the source of all things to come after the flow manager program. First thing you're going to do is left click on the pump icon in the top portion of the screen. Next you're going to click on the map where your pump is going to be located. I would recommend placing this away from any holes and into an open area on the map. This will open the add a pump screen. First you're going to name the pump something. In our example we will use the name pump 1. Finally input your pump's capacity. In our example it is going to be 1200 gallons per minute. And finally you will click OK. You will now be able to see the pump's name and its capacity under the flow manager table on the left side of the screen. Adding information if your map of your golf course is not imported into Rainbird system. Um, if your golf course does not have a course map that is able to be inputted to the software, you need to load a piping system into the flow manager manually. To do this, go to tab 3 on the main page of the Rainbird system and click the flow manager button. First thing you're going to have to do is add a pump from this screen can be done by right clicking on the white screen and selecting add a pump. Next we will show you how to begin creating your piping system on the map view. Step 2. Type of pipe. Sizing determines the GPM in the pipe. First thing we need to do is determine the amount of flow in gallons per minute that the pipe size can handle. In our irrigation piping sch schematic, we have HDPE 160 PSI piping that can be found in various sizes. On the Irrigation Association friction loss chart, we are able to see the different amounts of water flow in gallons per minute that each pipe size is able to handle. We will need this information as it will be inserted when you create your different branches of pipe. Step 3. Adding a branch of pipe to the system. Once you have a pump on your map, click the branch button in the navigation menu. Once you have clicked the branch button, click the pump and it will turn from red to blue. Then choose where you want this branch to go by clicking on the map where you want it to end. Ensure you click an open place on the map. Adding a branch too close to another system aspect will prompt with you, you with a warning. A pop-up menu will appear and you will be asked to provide it with the branch name and GPM. Add those in and your branch will appear in the flow manager system. If it is not in the location you prefer, you can move it with the double arrow at any time. Continue to do this for all your irrigation lines around the course. It is important to provide accurate descriptions of each branch as they will help in the future inputs or adjust adjustments when you have been away from the flow manager system for a while. adding the separate branches to your main lines. You want to click the branch button on the navigation menu. Choose the line you want to branch it off. For this, line will turn a different color to show it selected. Then select, then click where you want this branch to go by clicking on the map and then open in any open areas. Pop up areas, choose the name for it and gallons per minute, then click OK. Adding flow zones to branches. Once lines and branches have been added, you can add flow zones. Click the tab that says flow zone on the navigation menu. Choose a branch to add a flow zone to. Once you have selected a branch you want to go to, 
Pick the location you want the flow zone icon to save. Pop up areas, choose the name and gallons per minute and click OK. Step 6. Assign stations to flow zones. Once you have a flow zone added to an area on the map, it will appear in the left side menu where every prompt, branch, and flow zone will appear. Choose the appropriate flow zone by the name you gave it and right click it. Choose Assign Stations in the menu and click. A pop-up appears called Flow Zone Assigner. Choose the course and respectable hole you are going to put into. After this, select areas you want to add to the flow zone and hit add, or if you want all of them, choose all. Go through the areas of this of this hole, for example, greens, approaches, fairways, rough, etc. Once all areas for this flow zone have been added, click OK. Or you can add stations by clicking the flow zone on the map and choosing the stations to add it to manually. Having flow manager software will help to balance the system demands at maximum capacity. It will also help to reduce wear and tear on your pumps, create the desired pressure needed in each area, and overall helps you water. Completing the flow manager as accurately as possible will allow for the efficient use of water. After watching this video, we hope that you can now build an effective flow manager system on your own. You'll need to know the pipe sizing of your pipes and how the system is laid out. Knowing this information will help you with adding branches into your map, different flow zones and capacities, as well as how to link the system to the sprinkler heads. By doing this properly, we will be able to ensure the efficient use of water across our irrigation system. Thanks for listening.